Hi everybody, um, I'm back today to talk a little bit, just to kind of do a follow-up video on the hormone video that I did, just to let you know, to know how things, oh my gosh, I can't talk today, just to let you know how things are going. So, uh, I just went to the doctor on Thursday, so two days ago, um, to have a follow-up three months after I had my Marina IUD put in. So, just to, to give you an update, things are going really, really well. So, um, I mentioned in my original video how, like, I just, I found an immediate change, um, you know, so many things as soon as the hormone started being released into my body. Um, the Marina IUD releases, uh, like a synthetic progesterone. And the minute, like literally, I would say like a, the day after I got it put in and the hormone started to be released into my body, so many of my symptoms just kind of went away. Like they just disappeared. So, um, the only side effect that I really had was, you know, you need to break through bleeding. So basically my period started two days after they put the IUD in and didn't stop for two months, but was really super light. And I used to have horrible bloating and cramping and that all went away. Like it's just, it is gone. So uh, my night sweats are gone. Uh, I have more like energy, like just more of a desire to do stuff, uh, just a better frame of mind. My moods, that's the, one of the big ones, like my moods have leveled out. Um, I used to get like super cranky around my period and just super like, like super bitch and that kind of leveled out. I find like, like there's like one day a month where I feel kind of like, Arr! but like, I mean, it used to be like just this roller coaster and that's really, really leveled out, off. Like it's leveled off completely. Um, I didn't have any cramping with it. Um, just for a couple of days after I had it put in. Um, but like the big one has been the breakthrough bleeding. So my doctor has called me back for another four weeks from like when I was in on Thursday just to check that out. But she seemed happy with the way that things were going. And I was really, really happy. But what I found frustrating about going in there, and I mentioned this in the other video, it's like I'm telling her about how I feel like that the hormone is affecting me. And it's like she's not even listening. She just wants to know. Like she's got a checklist in her head of what she has to go through and she wants to know like am I having breakthrough bleeding am I having cramp because then like she's looking for indicators that there's a problem with the IUD and I'm trying to let her know like why didn't you tell me about like my progesterone levels to begin with because as soon as I got this thing it's just been fantastic and it's almost like they're missing the boat and maybe they're misdiagnosing people not misdiagnosing but maybe they're missing a diagnosis for people like they're coming in and complaining about this and then they go well, okay well we'll cut out your uterus or we'll uh you know you know give you this IUD. maybe if they like helped level out our hormones we wouldn't be having all these problems so i went in and i told her like how great i feel about the horn like i'm even finding as i said like the the like the sunspots or the age spots, whatever you want to call them on the back of my hands are fading. Um, very like they're just not as like they're still there, but they're not as pronounced as they as they were. My skin is clearer. Um, my frame of mind is better. It's just it's been really um, a miracle in a way because I had six years where I was suffering and like feeling like a bag of crap all the time and just just wanting them to like take out my uterus like just take it out and I didn't need that you know it's just, like I just need my and I'm not saying that this is the solution for everybody but this is just the experience that I've had so um it's it's been really great so you know I urge you guys if you're having you know like uh, as I said in the original video like if you're having like really bad periods that never go away and you've got really bad bloating and cramping um, get yourself checked out for things like endometriosis. I have um, adenomyosis, which is like endometriosis, but the, the, it grows in the opposite spot. I don't really know. Um, fibroids, all that, but also ask to have your hormone levels checked. Like you want to have your progesterone checked, and it's right on the little the little blood workup sheet, so they can check that. Ask to have your progesterone and your estrogen checked. Because, I mean, it's something that I never even knew about. You know, like, you always hear about estrogen and that kind of hormone therapy. But 
just two milligrams a day, I think, is what this thing releases, and it's just been absolutely um, groundbreaking for me. Like, I thought that I was going to be that way forever, and it, like, literally went away overnight, and it's just been fantastic. Like, I'm still, I'm even at, like, I want the, like, I want the bleeding to stop, but it's, it's so much more manageable, it's so much more controllable, and really the only reason why I'm so concerned about that part of it is it's kind of like it affects intimacy issues with my husband so I really want to get like and that's my goal is I don't want to be dealing with that anymore but it's like night and day from where I was three months ago and um and to think that like six years I suffered through all that and it was just such an easy fix so get yourself to the doctor get yourself checked out if you're having these issues like I am and so many of us are having and um, I will definitely, oh, and that's the other thing. So I've had my thyroid checked before, but this doctor wants to check my thyroid. So I went and had some blood work done, and that will be in four weeks. So I'll update again after that. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for all your support. We're all in this together, and we'll all get through this. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.